Within the past 30 minutes, we've learned two juveniles were arrested in connection to a brazen vandalism spree that happened overnight in Albert Lee. Earlier today, ABC6 News reporter John Detcott was in the neighborhood talking to neighbors and checking out the damage. On Thursday morning, residents in this neighborhood in the heart of Albert Lee awoke to slashed tires and busted car windows, at least 17 cases in all. This is usually a quiet neighborhood, and like any neighborhood, you got a little bit here and there, but... Nothing like this where everybody gets their tires slashed. But it wasn't just cars. Several local businesses were hit as well, including the Salvation Army, where officials estimate $2,000 worth of damage was done, but only half of that will be covered by insurance. And a thousand bucks is a thousand dollars, but in our case, it's a thousand dollars of, of uh, services that we can't provide. The owner of a local auto repair shop saw his truck and other vehicles pelted with rocks that he believes came from the train tracks just behind the property. He said his security cameras caught two people slashing tires, and that video has since been turned over to police. It leads us to believe that it's, it's just not a vindictive type of crim damage. Uh, people are out there uh, having joy out of this. Neighbors tell us this vandalism has been going on for about a week now. you got to keep on looking out your window at night, you know. If it is kids running around or got to be kind of more cautious now. This is a time where we really need to figure out what happened, why this happened, and maybe make a change in somebody's lives or a couple people's lives. In Albert Lee, John Detcott, ABC 6 News. Again, Albert Lee police tell us two juveniles were taken into custody tonight. Charges are pending.